Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, so today what I want to do is I want to test these transformers. I have two of them. I bought them years ago. To I was going to build some uh, audio amplifiers. I was going to design some of my own, and I had a good deal on some transformers, so I bought them when I could. So I've got these big old iron transformers here, and then I've also got these big old toroids here. These things are beasts. That thing's a monster. I think that's 500 VA. So I'm not sure what this one is. I'd imagine it's two or 300 VA. You know, it's pretty pretty hefty. Yeah, I'd say 300 VA. That's five. So I want to come over and see how many volts we get out. That would tell us one thing. And I want to power this guy up too and check that one out. So the other thing I want to do is get this guy. I want to use this guy, this Volt Box AC power supply, to uh, test these. I'll bring the camera over and show you this. So this stuff's been in my storage forever, and the quick story on that is, I had a theft years ago. Lost some really nice audio gear. I bartered and traded over the years, and anyway, I moved out of town, put my stuff in storage, came back, and before I could get it out. Uh, my audio stuff is taken, but all my, I'm um, not all of it. I have some audio stuff I'm going to show you. Um, I showed an MC30 in a previous video about the storage clean out thing. And I want to thank my daughter and her friends for cleaning that out for me. Cause I just can't bring myself to go there. And when they went there, it was, they were totally disgusted by the layers of dirt and all the varmints and all the other stuff that died and lived there. So it's pretty nasty, I guess. And I guess I uh, missed out on that, <laughs> but I had to get out of there because the price was going up, so I paid someone else to go do it for me, since I just couldn't quite bring myself to go there and see it. Uh, so, but I do have a bunch of test gear, and one of the things is this, and I have electronic supplies, like these transformers, I had a lot of things there that I had totally forgotten about, it's been there for years, so... This is a volt box, and uh, we'll come over here. It's a nice variac. You've got the dial on top. It's got a carry handle. It's got outputs over here. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's just bring the camera over so you can see closer. And then we'll test these guys and see how many volts they put out. All right? All right, let's do it. All right, guys. So let's check out the volt box first. That's what the front of it looks like. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah. That's pretty nice, right? You have your the meter, you can... Okay, so the meter, you can put it up here in line so you can see what's coming into it or go to load, see what you're coming out of it depending on where you dial this guy in, okay? So we have to do a little cleanup on this thing still, but you go from 100 to 0. And uh, yeah, there we go. So... And then, obviously, on and off, that's nice. It says input 120 volts, which is really cool since it's so old that they knew it was 120 volts back then. Serial number, look, the Superior Electric Company, Bristol, Connecticut. And uh, you can go up to 140 volts with 120 in. So that's always nice with these variacs that you can go actually go a little higher than you have coming in. And then that looks like 10 amps, which I'm looking at that close because that seems like pretty... Okay, I just looked at it a little closer because I thought maybe it was going to say 1 amp, but man, I'm surprised 10 amps because it is, it is fairly heavy, but it's not as heavy as I thought it would be for 10 amps. Okay, let's zoom out of this thing. And let me show you the bottom of this. You can see the Variac maybe through the grill. So it's really neat that they left it open for air right and uh it's got nice rubber feet after all these years perfect shape this thing is in very great uh good shape nice chrome handle no rust and look at that it was uh university of health sciences in 92 it was inspected so it's been a few years so here's an output and here's our fuse guess I could check our fuse all right well I looked at it it's kind of hard to see but it says 
Okay, here's a few. It's pretty hard to receive it. 250 volts and 5 amps, if you can see that. Kind of hard to see. But it does look like a slow blow fuse. Okay. All right, one thing I want to show you, though, is this cord has seen better days. Now, I looked at it really close. It looks like the actual wire is fine. It looks like the jacket just deteriorated, probably with all the flexing it's had over the years and just sitting around. But, yeah, so 300 volt, three conductors, what it says there. 16 gauge wire, so I'll replace that. The plug looks a little bit old, too, and you can see its insulation is cracking off as well. All right, and then on the other side, we have two more outputs, and these are outputs as well. So I checked it, and the hot on the right side is hot here, neutral, same as the neutral here. So uh, now I wonder if that screw was meant to be used as a ground, because if using these two, obviously you don't have the ground. Yeah, it's the only screw I see on the side of it, so maybe, or maybe it's just meant to hold it together. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is meant to be ground because these are all just, uh, I think when I take these off, I can remove the bottom. So just to verify that these are all outputs and actually tied to the on-off switch, I stuck a plug in here so I could just make it easy to touch the jack here and then I just touched this guy here and when I hold there nothing on the meter open and there goes the short so if I can hold it still anyway this Voltcraft's an awesome meter the VC870 I haven't reviewed it yet so if you guys want to see me review it soon, I'll do that. And there we go. So that's tied to the other terminal. And that's on the on-off switch. So then, just to verify that, that all three are connected together, I came over and I, and I did that thing too. And there we go. And switch opens it up. And same thing with this one, just to just to verify, just to make sure, right? There's an open, and then that's connected. And then also that jack right there. And then it opens. The switch opens up all these. Uh, so there's three receptacles and these banana jacks which they look like they're gold plated on the inside so anyway looks all like that's the way it's connected and that's pretty cool all right i've got this all set up propped up so you can see the meter and let's see we'll start off in the off position and what i'm going to do yes i'm going to use that cord the way it is now i'm going to replace that i gotta get a cord and i'll do a video if you guys want to see the cord and you know me opening this up and looking into it i'll do a video on that too but for now we're going to just be careful and use this to test these two transformers and first thing is this little guy here i'm sure these black wires are the input at least i'm pretty sure 0.6 ohms right there and the output would be these two green ones and the yellow i'm sure would be center tap 0.33 or 0.3 ohms there and yeah look about half the ohms 0.16 ohms so there we go so let's see what voltage we get on these guys all right guys so i've got the on switch i'm going to put this on line so we can see what we're putting into it i'm using another very active feed it because it has a fuse on it as well since i have that bad power cord I thought that might be the safe way to do it so up to 120 okay now we'll go to load and we'll bring that up and see what we get here and by the way you can see that I've got the power 
from the side receptacles there coming over to the black leads here so and then I'm looking at the voltage with the multimeter right here uh, across one of the outputs center tap to one of the outputs okay so let's go ahead and bring it up so that's half voltage and we got about 19 volts so it looks like somebody around 40 volts probably okay that's 120 and we got about 39 volts and that volt craft says warning once you get over 32 volts I think it is all right so there we go it looks like about 39 volts that's unloaded so maybe it'll drop to about 36 volts uh, loaded down so that looks pretty cool that's gonna be a useful transformer plus minus 35 36 volts so Okay guys, so I have my Voltcraft uh, back in ohms, and I've got the test leads back in here. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure the, I, I see these are both black, so I'm thinking, you know, I don't know if this is supposed to be negative and the positive, but I think this is one winding, this red and yellow, and then they're not connected to these, so then this is a separate winding. Okay, so it does seem like these are the two output windings. At least I think so. <laughs> so I think these are the inputs. And when, when you look close to this, how it's wired, there's a black and white one coming out of here. And the black one comes up to this connector. The white one goes to this connector. I think when they wound it, they wound those two together. And then these two together. And, and they just one goes to either connector. And I think the reason why they did that was see if I go to these two there's no connection and if I go to these two there's no connection except for my fingers touching it maybe but if I go from the black one to the white one that are wound together it looks like there's a connection about half an ohm and if I go from the white to black here I get about a half an ohm or, yeah, right about there. So, I think the way they did it is if you want to have 120 volt power, so for 120 volt power, you'd parallel them. And I'm pretty sure the way it's going to go is this black and that black are going to go together, and the white and white are going to go together. So, if you're going to be in a 220 volt system, you'd have black and white. And then this white would be connected to that black one. And then the white one on this one would be the furthermost one. So you'd have a black and white one in the center and the two outside ones. I believe that is the way it's supposed to be wired. Now, this one says hum. And 500 VA, it might vibrate a little bit, the windings. It might get a little bit of a humming. So... I think it might have been a reject because of that, and that's how I got it. And um, the guy was really picky because years and years ago, it's gone by, so they don't care anymore. But I'm pretty sure these were made for Dynaco. So I don't think anybody cares at this point. But at the time, I wasn't supposed to say anything. And Dynaco was super picky, and he thought they were just fine. But anyway, so... Uh, once we power it up, maybe if we only go 400 VA, uh, no hum, maybe 500 hum. Maybe we put a rubber pad on it, you know, something like that. But anyway, I think that was the deal on this one. Okay, so the voltage coming from the Variac here is coming over here. And I separated the black one from this connector and the white one from that one. So we're just going through one winding. I could parallel them, but we don't need power right now. We just want to check what the output voltage is going to be. So I'm just going to across one of the windings. Okay, so that should work. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. All right, I'll turn on this first. I have zero volts. Oh, here, let me check the line. So see, we'll check the line first. I got this down at zero. Okay, here we go. Uh, bring it up. And there's about 120 there. All right, so now we're gonna go to load. And 
I've got it on, so here we go. We're going to bring it up. And I've got this on AC, so we're going to read the voltage now. Okay, 60 volts. We've got about 34 volts. Should get about double that, right? Okay, about 60... 68.7 volts on one winding so 68 so it's gonna be around 60 volts probably with the load on it wow that's pretty cool geez we got a couple nice transformers now I've got a box of these and I've got a number of boxes of those <laughs> so I don't know how many I have of each but I've got a got a bunch I was gonna build some amplifiers in the day hey guys so what do you think was that interesting uh, I need to repair this, take it and put a new cord on. Might be kind of cool look inside, so should I do a video on that? Give me the old thumbs up, make some comments below. What do you think about that? Probably be a quick video, right? Um, what do you think of these transformers? I've got, I don't know how many of these transformers I have, but I know I have a box of these, and I've got maybe six or eight of those or more, I don't know. But, uh, I'll tell you what, I need to do a review of this Voltcraft meter. I've been using it for a while now, and I really like this meter. Uh, I want to say it's right around 200 bucks, but it's more than just a multimeter. It has a lot of counts. It's really nice. It has a nice, you know, that just, I like the way it works. I like the functionality of it. The other thing that's really cool is you can do power factor with it. So when I make a power supply, I'll make a power supply with a bridge rectifier and some big caps and we'll test out these uh, transformers that way see what kind of we'll put a load on them and see see what they do see if we make that one buzz I've got some more of them so if it does buzz we'll compare it to some of the other ones anyway we'll use a power factor uh, attachment for this thing and see how this works so yeah really cool meter has an optical uh, output here and yeah, I want to say it was like 200 bucks, but I've got this EEV blog, the 121 GW that I still need to review. This is amazing meter as well. So some really good choices of meters, but I understand, you know, where you happen to be in the world, you might have easier access to some meters than others. So I picked up this Voltcraft because it's not easy to get in the U.S. And I really wanted to get one and try it out. Uh, I believe it's German made, but... Some of you guys out there probably already know, so you can tell me. But, yeah, so, hope you liked the video, guys. And it's pretty exciting. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to blow the dust off and, and show you guys. And some of it's going to need refurbishing. And we need to restore some capacitors and some of it. I even found an audio amplifier that I built way back when. I don't, I'm not even sure if I was in college when I built this one. But it's pretty cool. It was a pretty cool design. I'll show you that one too. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, here, I gotta put this down. Two thumbs up to my Patreons. You become a Patreon, support the channel. Uh, links down below. There's also a new button that YouTube's added. And I think that's a pretty cool way to support the channel. You can uh, hit, it's, it's next to the like button, I believe. And anyway, you guys probably seen them before. But yeah, check it out. Uh, so that way you can, you know, do it one time help if you want. But, yeah, this power cord is in pretty bad shape. So, a little loving care. I did a search on this, which is kind of funny, because I didn't get vote box. I mean, I got all kinds of other stuff, but not, I couldn't find it, this one online. I didn't spend a lot of time searching, but I thought it was funny, because, yeah, maybe I need to search for the Superior Electric Company. <laughs> Uh, this stuff's pretty old, but super cool. Really valuable. I like this meter. Have another little variac or here you probably can't see. It's a B and K, uh, but yeah, it's different than the B and K that I did the sound meter. That's the Brule Anger. I think it's actually pronounced, uh, or at least closer than what I was pronouncing it. But that guy over there's the B and K from you know the U.S. So. Uh, all right, guys, enough talk. Thanks for watching. See you next time.